Alright guys, so if you heard in my Cat740 review by Norscott, at the end I said it was a good way to Norscott to finally end uh, their relations with Caterpillar producing models, and I got a, a couple of messages uh, asking what do I mean by that, so I figure I'll make a video about it because maybe, uh, you know, not everybody knows about it or anything, but anyway, uh, to, to get to the, the story, and most of everything that I say here was released by retailers, so it's not some random person just assuming is what I'm trying to get at. Um, so anyway, I believe in the beginning of this year, there were problems with, Nor with receiving Norscott models from uh, China to retailers, so no retailers really had a lot of stock of Norscott, and there were probably a, a lot of back-ordered orders um, that were, were probably even paid for. And some people, some of those people probably still don't even have models, and the Norscott models are uh, pretty hard to come by. Uh, still, anyway, uh, a couple of maybe a month or two went by. I'm not sure on the exact time frame, but it all led up to now. Um, and there were problems with the factory shipping the models to, I guess, retailers or possibly even to Norscott, and then maybe Norscott sh ships them to the retailers, but. There were problems like that, and then, I don't know how long after, but I seen that uh, there was like a lawsuit between Norscott and CAT, or the, the factory and Norscott. Um, it, it's hard to tell because I swear everybody tells a different story, but um, there was something with the factory actually releasing the models from there, so obviously someone wasn't getting paid. And then, you know, a couple of months later, and I don't think this was too long ago, it was finally put out there that Caterpillar dropped their license with Norscott. So that means that there are no more cat models coming from Norscott. And the new producer of cat models is Tonkin Replicas, who is not that familiar in the construction models, but in truck models, I would say that's where they have, uh, you know, their main uh, source of models. I, I don't think they have done a construction line, and if they have, it isn't that popular at all. Um, but probably most people know them for their truck models. Anyway, why this happened, I really don't know. Obviously, we're not getting the full story, um, but I, I would assume it had to do something with, obviously, money. Uh, uh, the factory wasn't sending out models. I don't even know if that's true, but that's what they said, so I'm just going by that. Um, and uh, Norscott has been with Cat for over 10 years, I believe, so um, if you don't fix, if something's not broken, don't fix it. Um, so obviously something just went terribly wrong. Um, and my take on it is it, it just had to be a money thing. Maybe uh, Norscott wasn't paying Cat the commission or, or something was going on. Um, but my take on it is they even produced new stuff this year, or released it this year. So I would assume that those are the last models that we will see from them. And coming by that, I also would assume that all the other stuff is discontinued now. Um, and possibly even the new stuff that was out this year was even made and was just is just being shipped now. Uh, I would assume they want to be paid, get paid for everything that they made. But, um... You know, it, it's hard to tell the full story if anybody knows anything more. And not something that was, you know, spread by rumor or, you know, that your friend told you. And it, I would rather you tell me something that was actually said by a retailer. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see what they make. Now, if they go by what, what revenue Norscott brought in for Cat from their past models, that's how I would assume that they're going to make models. I mean, I... I I guess we see some more generic models like excavators and loaders and dozers, uh, unlike say uh, a high reach demo or a fella buncher or you know a less common machine. And I would also I'm gonna put my money that they make a 336e because if you look at the sales of the 330dl and the 336dl that Norse got made, I would assure you that it is probably pretty high. So. Uh, if they just go by that, the 336E is obviously the brother to those models, or those machines, so I would assume we're going to see one of those. They would be smart if they do make it, because I, 
you know, everybody that probably has a 330 or 336 will get the 336 EL, but I'm hoping for some other stuff, but I'm not going to actually say because it's probably never going to come true, but, um, once again, it's, it's going to be interesting. I have a lot of different takes on it, um, more from a business perspective, um, but it's it's pretty interesting that this uh, this happened. You really don't see this happen, uh, you know, many times in years and years uh, that with model producers. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you have any information that's actually uh, official from a retailer, uh, comment below. And if anything I said was uh, not in the correct timeline or whatever, uh, also correct me on that because I'm sure there's some people wanting to know and there's people that probably didn't even know this. But uh. That's pretty much it, guys, so take care.